tire marks on the road, twisted metal from crashes, just some of the scars left by street racing on one corner in Oak Cliff. And for one resident, the wounds are still healing. It's all happening near 310 and Overton Road. News 8's Demond Fernandez spoke with the man who was nearly killed by the dangerous and illegal racers. And this is what we have to put up with. You can hear the car engines revving and the tires screeching. Oh, yeah. It's just part of the street racing chaos some Southern Dallas neighbors say they've been complaining about along South Central Freeway. They're up here doing donuts in the middle of 310 and over to know. A neighbor taking frustrations to Facebook in this video complains street racing is common along this strip Friday and Saturday nights. They don't tend to understand that their lives are in danger. And just moments after that video was taken. Next thing I know, I swerved and bam. Charles Edwards says an unidentified street racer lost control, crossed the median, and smashed into his car as he was heading home along that freeway. He caught here, and you can see where he just and peeled the door back, jammed it all the way back into this door. This door is jammed up. Edwards says he didn't realize uh, this area was a hot spot for racing. The 63-year-old says all he remembers was a bright light on the wrong side of the road heading his direction. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I was kind of shocked and I was scared at the same time. Good Samaritans helped remove Edwards from his damaged car. The driver who hit him was long gone. Edwards is filing a report with Dallas police. But now he's sending a strong message to anyone thinking of using city streets as a racetrack. Public street is not a drag strip. And here you are, don't have no concept on what might happen, just like what happened to me. What if, what if, it, what if somebody wasn't killed? Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.